Hi and welcome to Down the Shed with me, Jason. Right, in this video, literally an hour ago, my soldering iron thermometer arrived. Having seen several other videos, I'm completely aware that this is based on a Hako or Hako. It's a completely fake FG100. Apparently this being black and not blue is a giveaway. There's none of the original proper stickers on the back. We've even got Heiko packaged sensors. I've fitted one already. So let's have a play. Now, let's bring the soldering iron station into camera view if I can. This ain't gonna be easy because there's wires everywhere. Right, let's see what we got there. Well, I can't see that properly because, yeah, we go. So I've currently got this set to 355 Celsius. So we'll just let those numbers zoom up. And 300. She's a quick little, this Hollif. About 35 quid on Amazon, bit of a cheapie. Well, that's just holding and maintaining temperature. We'll chuck a 9V in here. <laughs> Makes you laugh when you see a Chinese fake with a quality control pass sticker on it. Well, that doesn't go in there very well. Again, another idea that's probably a fake. So, let's turn this on. It's got a very, I think Big Clive said this in his video, a very matte finish on the display. And I did, as he has, tried scratching off the protective film that isn't there. So now we want to tin our iron. It should be up to temperature, and let's see what we get. Now I've got a reading of 21.6 on there at the moment. The iron set at 355, so. So we've got about 350 on there. So that ain't bad, 351. So I can calibrate this, I think. I have to hold the plus and minus buttons down. Switch it on. Don't know what that does. Let's just leave that to reset itself. Try it again. Three fifty two, and I'm set at three fifty three, three fifty six. Well, I think you agree for something that's set at three fifty five. One degree Celsius. That's good enough for me. So that's the uh, rip off Heiko. Or well, this one's branded RST. The FG100 cost 10, 12 quid on Amazon. I can't see it really needing using that often. But it's another tool in the drawer, so for the cost of 10, 12 quid, who's grumbling? Right, this has been Down the Shed. Please like and subscribe. Hit the share button. Tell your mates. I, uh, that went in there. There we go. That goes in there. This should really sit in there like that. 
but when you're trying to do soldering and you've got these here and you've got a circuit board on there this is just getting in the way all the time so i literally just turn you around a bit i literally have can you see that there we go there we are i literally have this body filled with a bit of p38 body filler just hold it in tight and that sits in there it's um let's get this back it's where i need it to be it's within reach it's out of the way of any work it does the job and this normally sits back over here i don't use the wet sponge most people kind of despise them now it's this this metal wire stuff is absolutely awesome for cleaning your iron you can see in the bottom there actually quite a lot of bits of solder there's bits falling out but yeah this that one came with the iron quite like that stuff however before i had that i literally went down to tesco's found some pan scrubbers you get these in packs of three this is an old um or four can't remember it's an old like milk jug or something this is soldered to the base there we go there's a whole ton of solder now i'll have to melt out one day look at that so that's the importance of scrubbing your iron and using these sort of wool things